<laughs> Good Friday morning, church family. We're glad you're with us on Friday again mm. and again and again. We do this yeah. every week. It comes very fast, Pastor. How's your week been? Been, been good. Busy week. I'd encourage you to be careful out there today. It's probably a lot of rain going to be in our area today. Be careful of that in the storm. I encourage you to pray for those folks down in Florida, Amen. Big Bend area. It's been a tough, tough time for them. And so we've been praying for them. I encourage you to do that as well. And uh, anyway, we can serve them. We will. We'll see how that comes out here in the next few days. But hope you've had a great week as well. And we look forward to this weekend here at First Baptist Church. The weekend is coming, 9 a.m. That's our Connect Hour. That's for all ages, from preschool all the way through adults. I know sometimes you guys watch this all mm -hmm. the time. It sounds like a broken record. Mm -hmm. But there are people that see it for the very first That's time right. on certain Fridays. So we want to let everyone know, 9 a.m. is our Connect Hour. Come a little bit early, right to our steeple entrance, right to the Connect Center, and someone will get you and your family or whoever's with you if you're by yourself to a Connect group. Yeah. Uh, so we want to let you know we believe in those Connect groups. That it's, that's at 9 a.m. Immediately following that mm -hmm. Connect hour is our 10.30 a.m. worship service. We're in Malachi. Yeah, we don't have much more to go, but this week we're talking about a look at our church's DNA. Who are we at mm -hmm. First Baptist Church? And so it's going to be an interesting message. We hope you'll be with us in person to worship with us some great music. Uh, we're going to celebrate in baptism. We're going to observe the Lord's Supper together this Sunday morning, which is always significant. And then we'll share the word and invite people to make a response. So we pray that you'll join us this week. Invite somebody to join you as well. Thank you for giving tithes and offerings week in and week out. Uh, we cannot do what we do as a church. We say that all the time, whether it's locally or globally, if we didn't give the way the Lord asked us to. So thank you for doing that week in and week out. Those who worship with us online from in our community and around the world, we thank the Lord for you. Amen. And those who do so will be able to, to, to watch the message of truth that's hard to hear. There were several things that we dealt with in the area of trusting the Lord and turning from our sin and turning to even tithing. Uh, those things aren't easy to hear, but they're obedience issues. And yeah. I pray you'll watch that and share that. Credible music again. We'll talk about one of those songs here in just in a moment. But uh, we want to encourage you to share that because there's somebody around the world who needs to hear what God's doing here at First Baptist Church through his word. And so thank you for doing that week in and week out. Something coming up this uh, coming week that's going to be significant. We do this a couple times a year. It's a week of prayer and fasting. Jesus said, my house will be called a house of prayer. We talked about in staff meeting on Monday, what is the biblical significance of fasting? Mm. So they can do that starting uh, uh, Monday night here at 6 o'clock. That's right. We've done those before mm. in the daytime. Yep. Uh, this particular time, again, we're going to do it in the evening. So uh, that'll start this week. You can go to the website, see more information there. We'll do that every evening this week, mm. including Wednesday, which will yeah. be our uh, uh, special service where we're opening that, yeah. that time capsule. Uh, but every uh, night this week you'll be able to come you may not be able to come every night but mm -hmm. but find a night that you can come and participate with your church family and we anticipate that being about an hour each night yeah. something like that and then as john mark just said on wednesday night it's going to be a little bit different there's no evening meal that night because we are fasting from from a meal that week and that's going to be that night but but also want to encourage you to be at the time capsule service that that was put in that building in 1953 there are contents in there that have not been revealed since 1953 either. And we're going to do that on Wednesday night. Uh, we, we pulled the, the, the time capsule back so we know what's in there, but we don't know what's inside the envelopes or the tape message or anything like that. And we're going to do that together on Wednesday night, 6 o'clock in the Grace Worship Center. Our students are going to be with us. They're going to help us do some of that because we want to bless this next generation, not burden them. And so that's going to be a historic service for us. It's going to be fun. I can't wait yeah. to see the contents, almost like Christmas morning in some ways. <laughs> what are we going to get? And uh, we've had some, some fun things about it as well. And we'll see what happens coming up on Wednesday okay. night. But it's going to be good. We'll lay all the materials out that you can come by and see it and just observe all that as well, which is going to be great. One of our ministries we do at church that we, we so appreciate is Legacy Ministry. Coming up on Thursday will be our Legacy Bible Study and Lunch. And we want to invite people to come be a part of that. That's right. If you're a part of our Legacy Ministry here at church, uh, we want to see you Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. The Bible Study starts at 1030 a.m., just like Pastor said. Then we'll have lunch after that, have a program during that time. I believe you were sharing. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're going to do some yep. uh, birthdays yeah. and anniversaries and that kind of stuff. And then we're going to have some mission focus, too. When we go on these mission trips... Uh, you all pray for us. You encourage us. You're very supportive. And we want to share some of those, whether it's Northern Ireland or Mexico or uh, South Asia, whatever it may be. And we're going to talk about that, probably take some questions from you as well. And then right after that, something we do for a Halloween outreach 
Uh, we give out some bags with the gospel message inside of that, but Legacy folks are going to help us assemble those bags on the, that Thursday. That's right. You helped last year. We'll get you to help again this year. Uh, we love those outreach bags because it's it's a it's a time where we can be Jesus right in the middle of where we live in our mm. community. Kids go trick or treating. We we provide the bags and all the information in the bag. You provide the candy to put in the bag, and then you can hand those bags out on Halloween night. Yeah, right in your neighborhood. That's taking the gospel to where you live right. with kiddos who will come to your house, and so it's a great outreach for us. So we we want Legacy's help to assemble those bags, and then we'll be giving them out in Sunday's here to come. Also, another outreach that we do. That, that something is done in churches all across North America, but it has such a global impact. Operation Christmas Child, and that's coming up on Sunday, October the 20th. Those boxes will be available in the concourse. You can pick those up, uh, load those boxes, bring them back. Uh, we're getting into this fourth quarter, and, we and, are. and we're getting into a busy season for our mm -hmm. church where we're coming into Thanksgiving and then, of course, Christmas on the heels of that. But we're starting right now on October the 20th with Operation Christmas Child. Yeah, you love doing those boxes. Our goal is probably about 500 boxes. Amen. There'll be a lot of them. But it's practical stuff. It's fun stuff. But it's also the good news of the gospel of those families around the world. So thank you for being a part of that. Also, October the 24th, another legacy event we got. We got a trip to Nashville that day. Ann's and I are excited to, to be on this trip. Uh, we're going to leave early that uh, uh, Thursday morning, and it's going to be a fun time. We're going to go from here to Nashville. We're going to tour the Southern Baptist Convention Building. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been there or not, but we're going to meet some Southern Baptist leaders there when we're there. We'll go from there to the Sony Music Headquarters there on Music Row in Nashville. We're going to see where they record some songs, where they write songs. We might even have a guest artist or two mm. that will come by and play some for us. And then we're going to go to lunch at the Loveless Cafe. You ever been there? I've been there. Great good, food. Good stuff. We're going to have, it's going to be kind of family style. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of fun. We'll have a chartered bus that's going to do that. Uh, space is limited, so you want to contact Dana. Yeah. In the office area here, the sign-up, she's handling all of our reservations. So I wouldn't wait too long to do that, but she'd be glad to help you through that. So we hope you'll go on that legacy trip with us. Also, John Mark, on this Friday, Monday, we're, we've got a staff planning day that we're going to be out of the office pretty much Monday. If there's an emergency, you can still contact us. Sure. But we do staff uh, strategy planning once a year. We're looking at 2025. There are a lot of ministries that we do from preschool, kids, students, yeah. adults, music, preaching, all the things that we do, missions in the life of our church. And it just helps us to get together and plan and strategize for what the new year looks like. So I say all that just to say, pray for us on Amen. Monday, that we'll be together. We'll have a good time. We're going to have a great lunch together, but also that we'll be together and planning that the Lord's plans will be our plans. We just want to be obedient. So we encourage you to pray for us. John Mark on Friday here. Uh, last Sunday, you all did uh, just a hymn, My Jesus, I Love Thee. Mm -hmm. it is, I love that song. Mm -hmm. It's so moving to me, and I know it will be for people on this Friday. Amen. Well, let's sing that together now. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's turn our hearts and minds now to Jesus, and we pray to see all of you on Sunday.
心。